Greetings, goons, gangsters, and possibly most importantly, gamers. It's your boy, The Good Tonight, and today we're doing a little review on something I've been putting off for a while. It's something I got in the mail, got a good amount of time to test out with, and it is the AXL, what is it called? The AXL Subload Adapter, which is a fancy way of saying a way to carry your dangler pouch on your cry AVS or CPC. Now, I don't have a CPC, so we got it with the AVS. So, I do like the Dangler. Dangler is a nice little piece of uh, Feral Concepts gear. And um, when I had my JVC 2.0, as well as my freaking SPC, one of the things I do at one point was I moved it to the, um, the Velcro that mounts for the uh, plate bag. And I was told, um, don't do that. And it turns out I was actually right, because that became the new cool way to do it. Because it puts it right up against your body, stops flopping around. But um, people are like, nah, your, your plates are going to fall out, and you're going to get shot. And um, lo and behold, that didn't happen. Possibly because I didn't get shot at. But, you know, also, I never got shot. So nothing bad came of it. That's the, that's the key takeaway. So when I moved to the AVS, and I'm a big fan of the AVS, I no longer had a way to do that. I had to mount it up on the front like I did originally with the JPC. 2.0 until I kind of got the idea to move it back, which apparently a lot of other people started to have the same idea, so. But at that point, I was like, well, I gotta mount it somewhere. I wanna put it up on the front. It's gonna wobble around everywhere and be a pain, so lo and behold, AXL, pronounced Axel apparently, a company I've been using for various other components for gear, apparently had the same idea. They're like, hey, you know what? Let's um make an adapter for it. So as you'll notice, it's hanging out here. It is up close to the body, which is freaking fantastic. I really, I really, really appreciate that. And of course, I've got nothing in it, because once I got it mounted, I was like, oh yeah, I didn't particularly use it, because I didn't have anything in particular I wanted stuff in there. It's nice to have the extra storage space. In the event you do find something you want to throw in there, some easy little, um, I'd probably go with the, uh, oh, where is it? I got it around here somewhere. Do I? Yes, no, yes, no. Yes. Um, yeah, there it is. It's right in front of me. Doc Spartan. This is a nice thing to always have on you, so I can either put it in my pocket, but if I want to make sure it's always on my kit, perfect place is in here. But you can also use it for the freaking, um, any of the, what am I thinking of? Haley Strategic, the Spirit of Systems, they all make sub-abdominal little lunch boxes, load carriers, so you can do that as well. So how does this particular device work? Because you can see the dangler, you can see the AVS, but we can't see the uh, niche inner working. So let's go ahead. We're going to pop this guy off here. I'm going to hit clip one. It always feels weird saying clip, even in the uh, correct context. Clip two. Bam. See, they said it was crazy having two freaking Cobra buckles, yet here we are. So mounts there. We can still put the little tab up in this nice little tab, tab place. It's tab home. And yeah, it's hanging out there. So if you look back over here, we have pretty much like your standard, um, is it the Velcro cover? This is generally like the same material you're gonna get. If you've ever bought a um, Spirit of System freaking setup, they make the aftermarket padded version, but if you have that flat freaking Velcro cover, same concept, just as rough. And uh, yeah, it makes a nice little sweat spot on your tum tum, so. And of course, this basically just gives you the Velcro. You can look over here, and there's all the rest of the Velcro. And you mount your freaking dangler or event of choice. On this particular dangler, we, dangler, we have the uh, Harambe patch, because that's kind of when um, society effectively fell apart. You put all that on there, bam. So how does this mount into here, you're asking? Well, they use the freaking classic, was it the Tigris thermoplastic, which is on practically everything. And they put these little, um, they put buckle clips on there. I'm actually going to pull it out. I didn't set them up. I had them on there at one point. And you will bruise your fingers <laughs> getting this stuff together. I'm not joking. The nice part is they put these little um, tabs on there up here at the front. So you grab this tab and it would make a unbuckle noise if I actually bothered to buckle it. But because the Tiger Simple Plastic's pretty decent, even without the buckles done, you have a nice, easy, quick change platform. So if I was to pull this guy free, and pull this guy free, assuming they were buckled, you lift upwards, and with minimal effort, just there, 
minimum of struggle. Yep. Ah. The buckles get caught on the uh, the bits. I'll show you guys here in a sec. Ah. Yeah, with minimal struggle, you get that free. So that's our part. So of course, where we're mounting is going to be on these parts. These little two little um, bits of molly down here. Now these are generally for your ah, your freaking uh, extremity armor. Um, yeah, the uh, make sure you can still have babies in the future armor. And I've got uh, just a dump pouch on here because it's kind of cool when you throw the dump pouch on there. Well, bam. Yeah, freaking, yeah, have a dump pouch up at the front, but mostly having the armor also means that if you dump anything like empty mags or stuff, or heavy full mags in here, the way it bounces and flops around, it's going to hit the soft armor and not your junk. So that's your uh, pro tip for the day. Go back in there. So that's normally what you'd mount in here, but as we can see with the sub-abdominal part, Take risk thermoplastic, you got your nice little classic buttons, and these buttons go over here. And generally what you do is you gotta get a nice little push. You wanna get that space under there. And that's the part that goes into those little notches. Pa pam Easy peasy. And the hardest part is it's easy here because there's no plate carrier and plates and armor in the way. And you'd be like, well, good sir knight, just uh, take the plates out, dummy. It'll make it easier. And it, <laughs> it does <laughs> Oh, yeah, when they are actually clipped like that, as I said, if you go, oh, hey, I don't need my dangler today because I just don't, or you want to put on your soft armor, you want to do something else, anything else with it, then you go, reach down there, reach down, grab hold, I'm sure some have heard the expression before, where you go, click, click, and like I said earlier, effortlessly pulls up. It, Back on this button here, there's that little knot uh, ridge, and that likes to catch on the fabric. So, it may your uh, your experiences may vary, but as far as carrying anything that requires Velcro to mount, this is a fantastic solution. I like how the thermal plastic is a uh, black on the front. Um, for some reason, if you look at the back here, like past the glue and the stitches, it's still the normal like gray. So, yep, that's um that's it. So anytime. You want to use it, you just pop it free there, mount it up. I'm not actually going to do it. This is a huge pain. But yeah, just mount it up there. And if you have anything else that you can mount normally with Velcro, then um, there you go. Cool solution. And when you don't need it, you don't have to have it. So I'm telling you guys, putting the uh, two Cobra buckles is a freaking life changer. It'll change your life, which is what a life changer does. So you get the idea. Yeah, so... That is pretty much all I have for today's video. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And even when you're not using it, it kind of looks cool. It's a nice option. Throw it in your toolbox. Oh, actually, landed. Cool. You throw it in your toolbox, and when you need it, you'll have it. And that's cool. And um, yeah, that's the whole video. So if you guys have any questions or anything, um, the hardest part I found, for this anyway, is getting that Velcro just right because of course you've got the pokey dig into your uh, clothing Velcro on this side so you might have to set it up just a little bit higher and of course depending on what you're using this is like the old school uh, dangler so it's not always the easiest to access the zipper so depending on what you're mounting there is pretty much how effective your stuff's gonna be and this does have the um, I did a review on the dangler before it does have the old school little inserts there so it's not the most optimized for organizing stuff, but it does give you space to organize a few of the looser items. Although I always want to keep a, um, a multi-tool in here, but the multi-tool always gets away. So more on that later. But that's the video for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you have, if you have an AVS or a CPC and you want to still mount your dangler, this is the easiest way to do it. If you have the freaking JPC, JPC 2.0, or the Cry SPC, and a few of the others, I think... Um, I think LBT mounts on the inside camera. Right? Anything that's going to hold the plate bag closer to the body instead of out towards the front, because the AVS holds out towards the front, then, um, yeah, go ahead and as long as you're using quality Velcro, don't use freaking like, Condor or something like that and add it to your plate bag, especially with uh, AR500 steel plates, because, yeah, that's going to actually pull the Velcro out. But ceramic plates, 
and freaking um, quality Velcro, and you can mount it in there. It's, you're gonna be fine, all right? You ain't gonna immediately drop your armor 0 .02 seconds before catching around. So well, that's the uh, that's the good sir night promise as of today. Until I forget, which it'll be soon. So <laughs> don't hold on to that one. But cheers, everyone. Stay chivalrous, and um, if you're of legal drinking age, pour one out for our lost homie. Cheers, everyone. Catch you in the next video.